Yes, mommy. Work. Okay. We're ready. Hi everyone, how are all y'all? Um, on a whim, I decided to make this video where basically I'll be going through every single book that I have bought or now own um, recently, recently-ish. I don't know how far back it goes. I think definitely I got all these in this year, which is bad because they are like a lot. Actually, that's not true. Some of these, I think the latest was last year for like a library book sale. So I want to say like October um, up to this date. April, what, 25th? 24th. I'm going to go through them and explain why I got them, basically. Um, this is probably going to be a boring video. Skip it if you'd like. I would recommend it. I guess we'll go left to right because that's how we read too, right? Okay. So I got this book, Paper Towns. I believe I got this from um, my Trash Places Book Recycling Center. I've just heard of this book and I've wanted to read it. Um, John Green is an artist, author that I've, um, people like seem to like his writing, but I've never gotten around to reading any of his books, so. Now I own one. Um, then we have Daisy Jones and the Six. Um, this is a book that's being adapted into an Amazon Prime TV show soon, or it started filming in September, I believe, of last year. I don't know how long production takes, but um, people have recommended this book, and I also want to watch the TV show. Then we have Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. I cannot remember where I got this book from. I wanted to read this book for a while. It is a series. I haven't read a book series in a very long time, so um, there are like a lot of books in the series, and the audiobook is available on the um, platform I use to read and listen to audiobooks called Sora, so I need to get... This is probably going to be potentially the next book that I actually start. We have Renegades, Arch Enemies, and Supernova. Something that you know about me potentially is that I do not like hardcovers, so just looking at this book kind of makes me cringe, but um, I got this book at... A library book sale for like one dollar or something it was such a steal because if I were to buy it in Barnes & Noble it would be twenty dollars um, and I got these books at Barnes & Noble I definitely should have waited because like the month after I got them there's like a buy one get one fifty percent off sale on these two books but yeah that's okay I hope to read this probably over the summer sometime um, it has to do with superheroes which I like, um, the author is the person that wrote the Lunar Chronicles, like Cinder, Cress, Winter, I think. Can't remember the other ones, but my sister liked those books, and she also liked the book called Heartless. Um, I think I started Cinder, but it wasn't that interesting, so I stopped it. So I actually have read, like, the first page of this, or, like, the prelude or whatever, and it got me enticed. So I'll be reading that fairly soon as well. Then we have... The Bloody Chamber. What a dark title. This is one of the most recent books that I've gotten. I got. It was um, $17, which is the highest paperback book I've ever gotten. Um, the Song of Achilles, which I recently finished reading and made a short reviewing, was $17 as well. But it's cool because it has like a, I don't know if this is considered ja a jacket, but it also has deckle edges. It is retellings of fairy tales in the gothic tradition, and a YouTuber that I liked recommended this book, so that's why I got this. This is a series, not written, it's not a series, sorry. It's written by, these two books are written by the same author, um, Tuesdays at Marie and The Five People You Meet in Heaven, right? Yeah. Uh, 
Somebody in my English class of last year read this book and liked it and recommended it. And then the five people meet you meet in heaven is also interesting, I've heard. We actually own this, so I just asked my parents if I could take the copy. Um, and I got this from, I believe, the library. Not library, the trash place as well. I just stumbled upon it and I got it. It's interesting, like, they have a similar color palette, like blonde and... What? Not blonde. Like, faint yellow and red. Yeah, I wonder if they are related. I know that he's coming out with a book soon, potentially. Or, I think it actually is already out, yeah, called Finding Chica. Um, yeah, I'd, I'd be interested to see if it has, like, a similar color palette as these two ones. This is the other book I got recently. It is a, um American Sign Language book. Uh, yeah, it was only like three, nope, seven dollars. Uh, well, yeah, I want to learn how to sign. Some of that is O2, like Coda winning Best Motion Picture at the Oscars recently, semi-recently. Um, but I also have always kind of had an interest. Um, then we have a grammar book, which I got at Barnes & Noble for only three dollars. It's pretty thick, but I, I, I... Grammar is cool, and I want to learn more about it. Oh, maybe I'll read this during the summer, or something. Just to, like, it's very important. American culture does not stress grammar. The most um, frequent example I hear of, like, people using improper grammar is when people ask how you're doing, and somebody says, I'm doing good. That is wrong. That is wrong. It is well. Um, so, if you've been doing that, that's okay. Now you know the answer. Now you know the right way to say it, so you're all set. Okay. Then we have Crank. What a title. It is about a person that has an addiction to cocaine. Well, that's basically all I know. But, you know what? I kind of want to read things that are a little less juvenile and happy-go-lucky and, like, I don't know positive uh actually i have no idea if this isn't positive i mean it does have to do with addiction so i'm guessing it isn't but i think this is also a series or maybe just a it has a it has multiple books that it's kind of related to there's burned impulse glass identical and tricks they all have pretty cool um covers this is probably the thickest paper book paperback book i have but it is like smaller than usual and I got this from a book sale as well. Um, I got a lot of good books because of my library book sale. And actually, next week, um, on Thursday, starting from Thursday all the way to Saturday, there is going to be another book sale. I am going to, probably in another video, film myself, pick lots of books to give away to the book sale. And I'll go there, hopefully on Thursday. I've talked to my mother about it and buy some books for myself. Then we have The Fountain of Silence. This is a historical fiction book. This is also a book that I've gotten semi recently. I got it five. I got it for five dollars because I got a Barnes and Noble cafe item. I think it was a chocolate chip cookie, maybe. Um, it is about Spain. I don't really know that much about it, but the audiobook is also available on Sora, and I'm planning on reading this semi soon. Definitely, I'm going to try it before the end of the year. I have Girls Made of Snow and Glass. I got this for one dollar. I had started this book. Um, I never finished it because it was too boring, but it was on Epic Nominee, and people like it. Um, and plus it's a paperback. Like, what is there? Why wouldn't I get it? Then we have Dreams from My Father by Barack Obama. You may have heard of him. I don't know. Um, uh, apparently, my father actually also owns a copy of this book, which I found out after buying it myself. I think I got this from a library book sale. Um, it probably wasn't that expensive, but, um, I don't know. I recently have kind of been more interested in biographies, learning more about people that I don't know about. Uh, yeah, I read Funny You Don't Look Autistic recently, as well as Sure I'll Be Your Black Friend. Okay. Homestretch. Books for Living, another library book sale book. I don't really know what this is, but it has books in the title. What was I going to do? Not buy it? Beautiful Boy. This was a movie. Um, there's a movie adaptation of this. Starring Steve Carell and Timothée Chalamet on Amazon Prime, I believe. Um, 
is about a father's experience with his son's addiction. There is a book by the son named Tweak, I believe, that I would like to buy and read. So I should probably get that as well. I think, I think it's called Tweak. Okay. Little do we know, I got this from the trash place as well. I can't remember what this was about, but I have known about it for a very long time. Um, it was one of the first books that I wrote on like the books that I don't own that I want to read list that now has probably well over like 50 books on it. Um, and I just saw it and I was like, wait a minute, I should get this book. And finally we have um, look me in the eye. Oh, this is a biography, I guess. I'm not planning on reading it, like, soon, necessarily, but I do want to read it. My sister read it in freshman year, um, and the, te and the author of this actually came to the school. Or maybe it wasn't, he didn't come, maybe. Maybe they had a Zoom call with him or something, but they got to ask some questions or something. Um, I feel like there are more books that I've bought recently, but I can't remember. Gotten recently. Boughten is not a word. Uh, but yeah, I can't remember. So I think that's all. I don't have any guidelines in terms of how long it was since I got them. So uh, I guess I also got Siege and Storm and Ruin and Rising recently, um, which which completed my Gruciverse trilogy collection. Oh, I also got Rule of Wolves. It is also hardcover, unfortunately, but that's the second book to the King of Scars duology. That is it for this video. <sighs> Was this really worth it? Now I have to put all these books back. Um, but yes, I think that is all I want to say. But now for something I want to sing. This is a song that I wrote recently about a person, a real life person. This song will never be released, because it's very personal. But I'll give you a free sneak peek. Not even sneak peek. I'll give you the entirety of the song you will ever listen to. Okay. It's called A Dream. <laughs> 